may pips be upon you. Hey, it's time for a GU uh, update. Okay, I'm going to try and make this is at five minutes if I possibly can. All right, uh, clock starts now. All right, so we're looking at the monthly, right? All right. Like I said before, my my previous video, check it out if if you if you, if you have, have if you haven't watched it, uh, you'll see that there since 2007 there's been this trend line, the downline, uh, downtrend uh, been been respected. That uh, up until uh, December of last year, uh, it got broken here, and uh, things started going really bullish. All right, we see the momentum uh, switch right here. Look at look how things just just broke you know the structure was broken and we're, we're on our way up that's awesome right all right let's uh let's get a a weekly look a weekly perspective here all right now what 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 is this here this is a weekly uh, uh supply zone all right and i drew this because you can see how price dropped it, when it when it came to this area here, that means there's a lot of sellers up here, a lot of selling orders. All right, if you're in the order blocks, a lot of people would have looked at this this green candle here. All right, the, the last uh, bullish candle before this uh, engulfing uh, bearish candle, they would look at that as an order block, and that price would probably come up in here and and shoot down. That's the way a uh, supply supply works. That's what that's why I have it as a supply zone. This is a weekly supply zone. This box here, the, the, the one on top of it actually is overlaid, is a daily supply zone. When it's embedded in a weekly, a higher time frame, whatever it might be, uh, it makes a pretty powerful uh, supply area so that you know that when price does hit this area, it'll the the all likelihood is that it will hit will uh will drop uh significantly all right uh, we are in the zone now and you can see on the weekly that we have a bearish rejection all right and uh but that doesn't mean it's time to jump in with shorts it doesn't mean that at all all right let's take a closer look let's go to the daily all right and we can see oh come on with this all right, again with this. <laughs> All right, uh, so that's why I have uh, that daily drawn in here at the top here, the last uh, bullish candle, and then the uh, the uh, the following uh, uh, bearish candle there, and uh, that's going to be a very very strong. You're going to see it's going to drop very similar in fashion when it when it gets up here. But here's where we're what we're looking at now, I, I, what I want you to, what I want to notice, what I want to notice before I get off that uh, weekly, I want to show you something. This could be our signal. We might not be, price might not get up to this line here, all right? Price might not reach that border. Why, why, why would I say that? Again with this, <laughs> I'm silly. All right, uh, because this is a rejection area, this, this, let me look at it. this area up here, I'm looking at my time. All right, this area that price is in right now is a rejection zone, all right? How do I know this? We look directly parallel to the left and we can see all this rejection over here. So, you know, it's not, it's not unreasonable to think that, uh, when it gets in the same area, we're going to see those. We're going to start seeing rejection wicks. All right, I need I need confirmation though. I need confirmation, and the only way you're going to get confirmation for shorts, for valid shorts, is to go to the lower time frames. All right. Uh, let's see. We're going down to the daily. All right, the daily is not going to give us the look we need. But what I wanted to point out is that in my last video, uh. If you go to the four hour, what I want to point out in my last video, uh, the prior one to this, is I, I pointed out that price. <laughs> I'm all messed up, man. Price is a uh, uh, 
uh, made the move, I have pr proposed here that if you put your, if I put my fib, Fibonacci, if I put my Fibonacci at the start of the move to the end of the move, all right, I'm looking for a retracement of at least 38. But in that video, I said, uh, it, it will go to structure. And here was the structure here at 32, at, at 618. This is the golden ratio. This is the, this is the best, the, the, the kind of retracement you want, a nice deep one. And I've talked about this. And if you would have taken this, that, that hint, <laughs> if you would have taken that tip and uh, uh, put a, a, a trade on, because that's where I would keep my uh, my uh, uh, put put my stop loss, and if you would have took that trade, I mean, you you could have it went as high. I mean, that's two hundred forty two pips. I put that in the video. All right, uh, somebody should have somebody should have uh, capitalized on that. All right, but that's neither here nor there. You know, you know I, I I I missed it because. I was asleep <laughs> and I was busy with another trade and I don't like to be too overexposed myself, but I put the information out there free. All right. So give a like to the, to the videos when, when I, when I do good, man, when I don't do good, you know, I, I get what I deserve. All right. But you see how it, 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 it made this, uh, made this resistance, found a support, came back, came up through there with another break, came back, uh, had a perfect retest here. Had a perfect retest. Come on, man. What? what why is this thing acting all weird? All right. Had a perfect retest here, and then uh, shot up from there. All right. Now, where is it going from here? That's the question. Well, we got to You can see that this might be. A, this is my signal to. Hey, man. Time to uh, pay some attention here. All right. If we go down to the to the one hour, we're not getting a whole lot. We just see the spike. All right. So we gotta whittle it down, man. We gotta whittle it down. So here we are. We have this big rejection here and we have a retracement going on, all right? But this is still a bullish market. It has not broken structure yet, all right? When it, when it breaks structure, oh, we gonna know about it. But uh, th I need it, I would, I would need it. What, what is this line doing here anyway? Uh, I would need it to come down to here and break this and come back and hit that. But that's not gonna happen. That's not the scenario I'm thinking is gonna happen. I'm thinking uh, price will make an attempt to go higher. All right, I suspect that price will make an attempt to go higher. All right, and try and break that high. If it breaks this high, then we're going here. All right, look. And that's where I'll start looking for shorts because this is a bullish market. We have to wait until this market turns bearish. And when it turns bearish is when it breaks structure. So we got to look for structure to be start being broken here and then here. You know, you look for a retest and then you then you want to catch that. And I'll I'll send out an alert before that happens. All right. But uh there's a lot of you see this. That's a lot of mitigation to take care of. All right, price, price, either price is going to drop through here so it can mitigate these uh, these open orders, or uh, it's going to continue. It's going to continue a little bit higher. One last push. All right, if it's when I start seeing it start making bearish formations and patterns, that's when I'll start to uh, I'll put out a signal and say, "Hey, man, it's time to uh, take a short here." But I'm not so sure. I'm not so certain it. it that that time is here right now because we need confirmations. We need some bearish formations and patterns. This is a, a, a sign for sure that hey, we we're either we're in the right area to start looking for shorts, or it might push higher if it breaks that high. But uh, uh, this is a this is an interesting situation. We got to keep our eye on it. Okay, now look out for those signals. I, I put I put out some hints and whatnot. Uh, some uh, good tips. Uh, and, uh, you know, that, that last one I did, that was, that was a good one. That was a good one, doggone it. <laughs> I'm, I, I missed it. I'm telling you, I missed it, doggone it. I wish I hadn't, but I put it in there. So let's see what we can get this time around.